OHSU researchers identify gene that could be key to future HIV vaccine. Human CMV gene blocks necessary T cell response. HIV vaccines engineered without the gene being tested in clinical trials, continuing their journey to develop a vaccine for HIV. Oregon Health Science University researchers have identified a gene that could have prevented their vaccine from working in humans. The study, published October 11 in Science Immunology, removes one more barrier to developing a vaccine for HIV, and potentially other diseases such as malaria and cancer. Daniel Maluli, Ph.D., assistant professor in the OHSU Vaccine and Gene Therapy Institute and lead author on the study, said the research team looked at whether human cytomegalovirus or HCMV, has additional genes that could prevent a particular immune response, which would keep their vaccine from working against HIV. In previous studies, the team's research with non-human primates showed that vaccines based on rhesus CMV, called RHCMV, trigger unique T-cell responses not seen with any other vaccine. They found that these unique immune responses are essential for rhesus CMV-based vaccines to be effective against SIV, the pathogen most used to model HIV AIDS in non-human primates, to develop an equivalent vaccine for clinical trials, we need our HCMV-based vaccines to induce similar T-cell responses in humans, Maluli said, human and rhesus CMV are similar, and in past studies, OHSU researchers at the OHSU Vaccine and Gene Therapy Institute discovered that rhesus CMV needs certain genes turned off to trigger these unique immune responses. This is the result of decades of work by the research team led by VGTI Associate Director Louis Picker, MD, and Professors Klaus Fru, PhD, and Scott Hansen, PhD. The group has been working on developing this vaccine platform since the early 2000s, and in 2016, their OHSU startup company, Tomegavax, was acquired by San Francisco-based Veer Biotechnology. The company is currently testing the platform in a human clinical trial for HIV, together with the National Institutes of Health and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Fru, Picker and Hansen are corresponding authors on the new publication. Maluli did graduate work with Fru in 2007, where he researched attenuation strategies of rhesus CMV-based vaccine vectors. Later, he joined Picker's lab as a staff scientist to study how rhesus CMV affects T-cell responses and improve the design of the CMV vaccines so they can be tested in human clinical trials. He now has his own lab at OHSU's VGTI. For this study, the researchers inserted 41 human CMV-specific genes into rhesus CMV and observed the immune responses in the non-human primates. We found that rhesus CMV expressing a specific human CMV gene, UL18, only triggered standard responses because UL18 interacts with an inhibitory receptor on T cells that blocks their reprogramming, Maluli said. As a result of this research, Fur said the team has designed a human CMV based vaccine for HIV that doesn't include UL18 or other genes that could potentially stop the vaccine from working in human patients. Our goal is to create a new kind of vaccine not just for HIV, but also for cancer and other diseases, Fur said. Maluli added, this CMV vector system invented at OHSU is unique. The applicability of our vector system to other diseases is endless. Human clinical trials of the HIV vaccine With the UL18 omitted, are now underway by Veer Biotechnology and the NIH with additional support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. All research involving animal subjects at OHSU must be reviewed and approved by the university's Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee, IACUC. The IACUC's priority is to ensure the health and safety of animal research subjects. The IACUC also reviews procedures to ensure the health and safety of the people who work with the animals. The IACUC conducts a rigorous review of all animal research proposals to ensure they demonstrate scientific value and justify the use of live animals, in our interest of ensuring the integrity of our research and as part of our commitment to public transparency, OHSU actively regulates, tracks, and manages relationships that our researchers may hold with entities outside of OHSU. With regard to this research, OHSU's picker, Hansen and Fur have a significant financial interest in Veer Biotechnology Inc., a company that may have a commercial interest in the results of this research and technology. Picker, Hansen, Maluli, 
and Fru are also co-inventors of OHSU patents licensed to VR related to this work. The HIV T-cell vaccine trial is supported by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, part of the National Institutes of Health, and the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, and is being conducted by the HIV Vaccine Trials Network.